So at this point, if you've done everything in order, you've learned about z-scores and how t-tests are different than that, and the purpose of one-sample t-tests, and why we use them, and also how we calculate them by hand. You've also been exposed a little bit to Microsoft Excel. Now let's take that same data file that I gave you to work through the Excel video and import that into SPSS and talk about how you run a one sample t-test in SPSS. Since my SPSS is already open, I go to open and I click data. Then remember that files of type you need to change to Excel because the data I gave you is Excel. Then I'm going to open the example that I showed you in the last video. When this display comes up that asks you about reading, remember how I told you that first column is your variable labels. That's why we click OK, is because instantly it puts our value labels at the top for us. Now the first thing we have to do is clean up some of the mess. As you can see, it still has our stuff from the Excel video. We don't need that. So I'm going to highlight these extra columns and cut them and get rid of them. Also, I'm going to check and make sure there aren't any extra rows down here with, with dots. There's not. So this file has now been imported and cleaned up a little. But we do have to tell SPSS what these numbers are. So I'm going to click over to Variable View. Days 1 through 7 are not nominal. They are scale because they are the scores on a measure, as we've talked about. So I need to change them all to scale. Once I do that and I go back, you can see that our labels at the top now have the appropriate symbol. So let's run a one sample t-test. To do this, I go up to analyze and I click compare means. As you can see, all of the t-tests and one type of ANOVA are actually in the submenu. We are doing one sample t-test, so that's the one I'm going to click. All of SPSS works in this way, where I need to move whatever variable I want to test over to this box that says testing variables. You'll see some kind of similar mechanic to this in almost every test we run. You move things from the left into the box on the right. I want to see if this sample is statistically significantly different than a population. How do I do that? Well, the first thing is, I'm trying to compare the total score, so I want to move just the total score over. If I wanted to compare a specific day, I would have to know what the average is for the population on that day, and I don't. I only know what a weekly average is, and that's why I need this total. The next step is I need to fill out this area here that says test value. What the test value is, is SPSS's way of asking you what is the population average that you want me to compare this thing to? So you have to remember to put the population average in that box. The number one mistake that students make when they complete this is that they forget and they leave it as the default of zero and then their numbers are wrong. So for the example, let's say the population average was 23. So I'm going to put 23 here. I don't need any of these options, so I'm going to click OK. Now my output window comes up, and I have my t-test output. I can see that it is a one sample t-test, so I can verify that I ran the correct test. I also have the total number of people in my sample, their mean, their standard deviation. I then come down to the next area, and I can see that I did put a test value in here. If this is zero, then I know I've done it wrong because I've forgotten to put the population average here. In here, I also have the T value for my test, the degrees of freedom, and the statistical significance. This is the P value. As you can see, it's very low, which is very good. So the risk of having a type 1 error is very, very low, and that's what we want. I also have confidence intervals, and we'll be covering confidence intervals later. At this point, I could ask you a lot of questions. I could ask you for the T or the degrees of freedom. I could ask you if this is a statistically significant result. Or is this sample different than the average? And if so, how are they different? Um, the average for this sample is 38, and 38 is much greater than 23. Also, our T value is positive, and that's how I know that not only are they statistically significantly different, 
but they are different in that this sample has a higher average than the population. So as you can see, running a one sample t-test is actually really fast in SPSS. So hopefully you've been able to work along with your Excel file and get these same results. If you did, great. Then you probably have all of the skills that you need to move on to the assignment. If you have any questions, post to the FAQ board and I'll see you online.